it's Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Now this week's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to bear all my nudes. My lipsticks. What you think I meant? Now I've seen a lot of girls doing these videos and I want to share some of my own because who knows subtle natural beauty better than a drag queen? So sit tight and let's take a gander at some of my favorite nudes. Okay so I apologize. I kind of look like an albino right now but I'm going to fix that in just a moment. The first lipstick I'm going to show off is Velvet Teddy by MAC. I love this shade. Personally, it doesn't read as well on camera, but I use it a lot in my real life, especially in boy mode. It's my go-to lipstick when I don't feel like getting gay bashed that day. Let me just try this on real quick and put some lips back on this mouth. This is Max Velvet Teddy. This lipstick is my jam. And not only is it pigmented, it would make a great drag king name. It'll stay perfect provided nobody touches your face. There we are, it's a beautiful pink matte nude lip color and perfect for Latin skin tones. My next shade is Kinda Sexy by MAC. Now for a long time, I've searched for a lipstick that's as close to my natural lip color as possible because I think natural lips on a drag queen is so absurd, it's fabulous. Let's try this bad boy on. Next is MAC's Kinda Sexy. And I also dig its name, it's Kinda Sexy. Kinda like Nick Jonas without muscles, only Kinda Sexy. This lipstick is my go-to, especially for boy mode. And when I'm taking photos, it photographs beautifully. It looks just like my lips. Next is Max Selena's Amor Prohibido. Now I have a story for this one. I waited in line. I got up early that day. I skipped breakfast and I still had to wait two weeks to get this thing. But let me tell you, it was completely worth it. Just let me show you right now. This is Amor Prohibido. It looks beautiful. It's a cream sheen and totally flattering. Choose your fan club president wisely when you put this lipstick on. It's perfect. When I tell you this looks gorgeous on Latin skin tones. It's a cream sheen, but trust me, the pigmentation is there. If you get a chance, definitely go out and get this one. My next lipstick is by Urban Decay's Vice line, Back Talk. When Urban Decay announced they were relaunching their entire lipstick line, I was so excited and I had to go out and get this one. Their new formula is not playing around. It reminds me a lot of MAC. So let me try it on for you and show you what it's all about. I normally don't like Back Talk in any form, but I make an exception for this one. I could walk through a Cubs game and get a husband, pair it with a lip liner and get that perfect pout. And here it is, the beautiful matte nude with purple undertones. I fell in love with this lipstick when I got it. And the spokesperson is Ruby Rose. And you know what they say, if it looks good on Ruby Rose, it looks good on Justin Bieber. So where could you go wrong? Our next lipstick is by Jeffree Star, Celebrity Skin. This is his new lip ammunition line. I was really excited when Jeffree Star announced he was going to start doing stick lipsticks because as much as I love liquid lipsticks, I just can't maneuver that brush. So the good old classic bullet is what I want. This is Celebrity Skin. It's a matte finish and it smells like Starburst. You'll be feeling your barbed wire fantasy. Don't call me babe. This shade is beautiful. It's a matte formula and it smells delicious. No, seriously, every time I put it on, I want to eat it. It reminds me a lot of Pamela Anderson in the 1990s. Now, for many years, I've made desperate attempts to replicate Pamela Anderson's lips on Baywatch. And this lipstick, Definitely will take you there. Partner with a deep pink lip liner and you'll be making a sex tape with Tommy Lee in no time. And finally, I've saved the best for last. From Lorac's Alter Ego line, this is Duchess. It is by far the most perfect nude I have ever tried on. But I can show you better than I can tell ya. And last, this is Lorac's Duchess. This is that perfect take your man lipstick. And it's the one nude lipstick that doesn't get washed out by a spotlight. Be right back. Gotta go pick up the kids from school. And here it is. It's the perfect mixture of purple and pink undertones. It is the best nude I have ever tried for Latin skin types. Believe it or not, I am Latino. Shh, don't tell anyone. Now, I first heard about this lipstick from a hairstylist that I worked with a long time ago. She's a total thought and a real bitch monster, but she had great taste. And this lipstick happened to be one of the things she wore every day, and I had to know what it was. Well, those are my nudes. Dirty birds. I bear it all for you today. And you didn't even have to buy me dinner. And you may have noticed I had a little bit of assistance applying my makeup today with these handy new James Mansfield pocket mirrors. You get two beautiful pocket mirrors for one fabulous prize. Be sure to swing by my website, jamesmansfield.com slash store. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. Share some of your nudes. I'd love to see them. <laughs> Until next time, kittens. Bye. Click here and see me curl and style a wig. Or see me make a fabulous dance costume. Come on, click it. You know you want to click it. If you don't click it, I won't tell you where I hid the bomb.